Alright guys, that time again. Time for another vacation. Today is the 19th of September 2011. I'm heading off to the Bumpamalanga area to spend five days at the Falcon Glen Timeshare Estate. After that I'll be spending the weekend, that'll be from the 23rd until the 26th of September, at the Kruger Park, Kruger National Park. I arrived here about two hours ago. I've just unpacked, relaxed a bit, and now I'm going to have a walk around the resort and see what we've got here. According to the map, there should be a swimming pool and a mineral pool. The hut is not too bad, it's a brick hut, but it's right in the middle of this bush. It's quite nice here. I don't know if you can hear it, even though it's very uh, uh, naturey here. The highway is just behind here. Very hot. Obviously hot and mineral, you can smell it. So that's what mineral pull up here. And down there is a normal cool swimming pool. So we found two swimming pools. Uh, one was hot and the other one was very hot. A mineral and a non-mineral pool. Uh, what you're looking at now is a view from our veranda from the cottage. Behind me is a bush and a mountain. little history about these um, hot pools. Apparently back in 1979 uh, a platinum mining company wanted to see if there's any platinum around here. What they did was they actually did some test drilling and so forth. Uh, one of their first locations was up here. Let's see if I can zoom in there for you. Okay, um, apparently they didn't find any uh, platinum up there. But their next location was to drill around about here. And they fit exactly well there. And they drilled, and they, according to the stories, they drilled two, uh, two and a half kilometers down. Sounds kind of a lot. After two and a half, two and a half kilometers down, they hit water. Uh, so, what they did was they tried to cap off the area. The pressure from the water was too much for the capping off, so they had to put in uh, pipes to flow out the water. The water flows out of here. Well, according to them about 2,000 litres an hour which sounds a lot but if you have a look at the pool and how fast water is going through it at the bottom so in conclusion these uh, geothermal pools as clean as uh, chlorinated as they may seem are actually from very deep in the earth and you can believe it when you feel how hot that hot pool is it is now 5.30 in the morning on Friday the 23rd of September 2011. I'm sitting outside the Kruger National Park's Malalang Gate waiting for it to open. Uh, it should open at about 6 o'clock. I'm also waiting for some friends, Philip and family. They should get here also before the gate opens. We both came from two different areas. I came from uh, Falcon Glen and they're coming from Snellspray. So we'll see if we do meet up in time here. As always, 
I'm hoping to see some of the big five and definitely try and catch that leopard that I've been trying to get on film for ages. The other things I'm interested in, of course, are the usual rhino and buffalo and impala and so forth. It is now quarter past six in the morning, 19 degrees centigrade, and I've just entered the Kruger Park now to find some animals. I find looking for animals in the Kruger Park very similar to gambling, especially if you're looking for the big five. Everyone seems to have a plan, a scheme, a method, and yet it always comes down to just pure luck. Remember my luck? is empty. I've been in the park for about an hour and a half now. And I've spotted some rhino and I've just spotted some hyena, my all-time favorite animal. I really do love the hyena, the, the way they're built, they're so purposely built, their, their jaws can crash through anything, their, their muscles, the speed they can run things down, not the speed, sorry, the endurance they can run things down, I, I don't think any other animal is better designed than a hyena. Today is Saturday the 24th, it's now half past six, we're just standing outside the office waiting for it to open at seven. We're hoping to attend this new adventure trail that you can get from Tourist Corp out into the bush. Uh, most of us on this trip have travelled here a lot of times, so we haven't actually been anywhere we haven't been before. This adventure trip is something new and we're hoping to see something different for one. One of the interesting things about this adventure camp is that you have to pay to go on for about 450 Rand and then they let you on but they only allow six of you at a time, six vehicles for the whole day. In the words of our driver, this is nice, now we're in the bush. <laughs> um, you have to have a GPS to go here, otherwise you get lost. And even with the GPS, we got lost. <laughs> okay. A real adventure trail, with real wild animals, in the real African bush, in a real 4x4.
One of the other interesting uh, things about this uh, wilderness trail, apart from the fact that you have very interesting roads to drive down, is you can get out and stretch your legs every now and again. Look at this road. Good morning, it is now 6 o'clock on Sunday morning the 25th of September 2011. The gates have just opened and we're heading out looking for animals. As you can see it's uh, quite bright outside today, far better than last year November at 4.30 when we could not see anything outside. So far on Friday we saw that leopard, very nice. We've seen rhino, we've seen elephant, the usual buck. Uh, yesterday we went on that adventure trail, a 4x4 adventure trail. Very interesting driving, not so much for animals. And now Sunday I'm heading slowly towards Kakuza. After breakfast at Kakuza I'm going to head up to Squani and then down to Lower Salby for the evening. At the moment I'm still following my friends in the car in front of me. We've got a 2A radio to keep in contact. So it works well, it works well. They find the animals and I take the pictures. Alright, uh, let's see what we can see today.
is Sunday evening, 10 to 6. The sun has just set, and it's the last day of my holiday. I started a week ago. I spent the five days at Falcon Glen and the last three days in the Kruger Park. Tomorrow morning I expect to get up early and slowly head out the park. Um, I expect to be out of the park within about an hour to an hour and a half of getting up. Then I head home. It's been a good holiday. I've seen a lot. I finally got that leopard picture I've been trying to get for the last few trials. I saw lots of lovely herds today. We did a 4x4 trip yesterday. Most enjoyable.